Hello, Gabe Heller here, G Hohenzollern on YouTube, and How Now Brown Couch on Twitch. Uh, so today we're going to be looking at some uh, Minecraft mods that have been updated recently. Uh, Mine Factory Reloaded for 1.10.2 and uh, some more Twilight Forest for 1.12.2. In order to get Mine Factory Reloaded working properly, I had to do a little uh, workaround, so I'm going to show you what that was. Uh, so if we bring up... Here we go. In the config file folder for your mod pack, if you are running as a mod, Mine Factory Reloaded. There it is, 1.10.2. Uh, I had to download a number of uh, helper mods, Code Chicken Core, Code Chicken Lib, COFH Core. Yeah. So those are the ones you need. But in addition to that, if it, your mod pack isn't loading, one thing that might fix it is to go into the config folder and check out forge.tfg. Uh, you can see that I have set replace vanilla bucket model to false. Um, in this one, my old version, it was true. And uh, the reason I changed that was because I was getting crashes that were referring to. Uh, the changing the bucket model. So I figured maybe if I didn't do it, the mod pack would load. And it has been loading. And we're going to give it a chance to load one more time here. So, let's go into a new single player world. I made this world, I called it Reloaded World. I made it for testing Mine Factory Reloaded. So let's go into the world. Uh, and I believe that uh, I found a rubber tree. So we're testing mods for 1.10.2 because we hope eventually to put together an updated version of the Rainbow Robot mod pack. Rainbow Robot Blah. We'd like to get all those mods updated, but so far they're not all available for the same version of Minecraft. Um, but when they are updated, we test them to make sure they still work, um, so that we have some idea where we stand. That's what all this is about. There, it's a rubber tree. Okay, we've got ourselves some rubber wood. Excellent. And tree capitation is on, so as soon as I make an axe, I should be able to cut down whole trees at once. I have some rubber leaves up there. I think I got a sapling. Yes, I did. Okay. Let's go grow these in some safer place than on the edge of a deep forest. Out in the middle of the plains, where we can see monsters coming from miles away. There's a, po a pool of sludge, so we know that much is working. Okay, so we're probably going to need some tools if we're going to do Mine Factory Reloaded. It requires some iron and things, I think. So we'll make a very basic mine. We haven't really been doing a lot of textures. 1.10.2 these days. Most mods are up to 1.11.2. Mine Factory Reloaded is not one of them, but most mods are up to uh, up to 1.11 by now, so we've mostly been doing textures for 1.11 and ignoring 1.10 anymore. Among other things, Buildcraft has told us there's not going to be a backport to 1.10, so that was the main reason that we moved on to 1.11. Let's just flatten things out a little bit here. We'll go down into the dark and start digging. I think we can cook rubber wood into charcoal. Let's find out here. Because we have Tinkers installed, we should be able to make Tinkers torches, and we can save our wood for later, because we will probably need it later. There we go.
Hey, stone torches. Time for a better pickaxe, and also some more torches. We've got some tin here, and because of the forestry uh, bronze recipe, if we find some... ...find some copper, we can make bronze without needing uh, to macerate or pulverize anything. Crush, I think mechanism that we would be using. It's a crusher. Hey, there's some copper right away. Excellent. if I set myself up with a planter and a harvester, which is probably what I'll do. They're two very basic machines. Whoa! <laughs> Talking too much and not paying attention. Excuse me while I need to pull back up out of here. Okay. Now, this seems to be a relatively safe cave, so we may explore it a little later. Especially if we don't immediately find some iron, which I think is the main ingredient that we need for making harvesters and such. Ooh, copper ore from Project Red. That is not textured. Oh, another cave, or possibly an extension of the same cave. I have to start blocking up with cobblestone here, because I'm running out of nicer looking things to block up with. Oh, and tin from Project Red as well. Well, we're going to have plenty of bronze, should we wish it. And now there's diamond, so we're in good shape, but we better light this up quickly before something dangerous shows up to hurt us. It's looking kind of good. A kind of a makeshift base already right here. And there's some iron that we can mine. Now, uh, if we want to make a computer, we're also going to need some redstone. There's some redstone. Okay, so we've got everything that we need right here in this nice little area. This is very convenient. So we have two tin ingots, two copper ingots. There we go. Bronze ingots. Now we can make a bronze pickaxe and mine all of the ores. of the textures in here for mechanism either, uh, because once again, we don't think that 1102 is actually going to be the mod, uh, the version of Minecraft that we end up using for our mod pack. Um, we would be very surprised if there's a backboard of buildcraft. We're still testing the mods as they go along to keep up to date on what's available for various uh, of the mods that we used in our main mod pack. Uh, what's available? Electrotine. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, so, um, what I want to do now is uh, open up a big area here the turtle. I don't know that I actually have enough iron. No, I'm going to need more iron before I can even make the turtle. Okay. Go around looking for iron. There's some iron. Oh, and some gold, too.
oh, but we need glass. So we'll need to go back upstairs, and uh, we'll want to make actual stairs to go upstairs with. What's above us here? Hey, it's daylight. Excellent. We spent all night underground, which is actually the ideal way to do it. Okay, so here we are. Our trees have grown. Excellent. Better it is getting to be night, so we better hurry here. Collect some sand. Alrighty, that's that, and then let's quickly hoe some ground and plant some seeds. I have a lot of wood though, or cobblestone or anything, so I think we're gonna let the hovel wait. Got one more tree though, one more sapling. There we go. Okay, so what next? Um, uh, next we set up our turtle. A computer, or a tile.computercraft.computer.name. <laughs> okay. And then if we combine that with a chest. There we go. And some iron. We should have a turtle. There we go, a turtle. And then we need to make a diamond pickaxe. There we are. We combine that with the turtle. And we have a computer craft turtle. Upgraded to be a miner. Very old, bad texture, but oh well. Okay, so where do we want to uh, do some mining? I think probably the best place is back over this away. Let the turtle stay here. There we go. Uh, now we're gonna want a, to fuel it with. We've got quite a bit of coal. We should do. Pick up more coal along the way. There we go. It's got some coal in it. Hello? Oh! <laughs> well, <laughs> that's not good. It's just gonna die. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> computality for 110.2, you don't work so good.
It was unfortunately not. Since we've got this last stair in place, we're going back downstairs to do some mining until day. That's quite a bit of iron. I think we may be set. Also need the gold that we found over here. I think because there was lava underneath it. Bye lava. Hey, there's quite a bit of it. We may be in a good shape. Cook some rubber. Do you think you just cook it? Yeah, you do. That's not going to be quite enough, so let's go upstairs and see if it's day yet, and we can maybe harvest some more rubber from our other tree. Hey, it's day. No! Some of you watching may have seen that sneaking up on me. I did not. And some saplings, too. We also need clay for the planter, that's right. Well, let's go get some clay while all this is cooking, then. We're right along the river here, so we should be able to find some clay pretty quick. There's some. Probably all we need. So now we take this raw plastic and we make... not like that. It's better. Plastic sheets. Twelve of them. Excellent. And we're going to need some machine blocks, which are stone and plastic sheets. There we go. Three machine blocks. Okay, cool. And we should have some bricks by now. I believe we placed three bricks, like so. We get a flower pot. We need two of those. That's two flower pots. Okay. Do we have everything we need for the planter? I think we might. Yes, we have a planter. Excellent. Okay, and then we want to make a harvester, which requires shears and a golden axe and a golden... Two golden axes. Okay, those are both axes. Oh. More sticks here some golden axes, that's two golden axes, make some shears, that's shears, is that all we need for the harvester? Might be. Yes, okay, we've got a planter and a harvester. Now all we need is something to power them, and they don't require a lot of power, so we probably want to make um, a, a, a survivalist generator. There it is, survivalist generator. Which is it only requires one iron. It's very convenient. Okay. Used to require more than that, I think. Furnace. Iron. A survivalist generator. Excellent. in on the map. Looks for all the world like he's coming down that corridor towards me, but he's not. He must be above me, or below me, but probably above me because it'd be lava if he was below me. Okay, so we're going to make another generator. I have this generator that is. Redstone and iron and cobble. 
They have two survivalist generators. Those should be able to power the harvester and the planter. Alrighty, let's go try them out and see if they work. Like so, we have a bucket. Excellent. Water. Water there. Place the harvester. Water. No, the planter beneath the water. And then next to it, actually, you want to place the power thing. So that's the survivalist generator. There it is. We should give it some fuel. That lasted a while. And then we put down the harvester, the planter. The oh, planter. There it is. And some seeds in there. And it plants them. <laughs> immediately. Yay, it works! I like that about Mine Factory Reloaded. It's generally, yay, immediately it works. Okay, but we do need to build ourselves a shelter and quickly. So let's cut down a tree here. As we can. Actually, that's going to be too slow. So let's dig with our shovel a lot of dirt. Okay, a very basic shelter. I see a zombie over there, is that what I see? I don't think so. Let me zoom out a little bit on the map. There. Okay, now I think that if any monsters come within range, I'll be able to see them. So I'm probably safe-ish to continue working on my planter and harvester, as long as I don't move too far afield. Hey! You working? Yes, you're working. Okay, cool. So, the harvester... Go... here? Nope, that's facing the wrong direction. Harvester. There we go. We have a harvester. Excellent. And we need to give it a little power. Is it getting power? Yes, it's filling up with power. I just need to get something to grow. For that, we need bone meal. We need to kill some skeletons. Now we need some armor or something. And a sword. Also try making the uh, watering can. Okay, this watering can is from Extra Utilities. Is there a Mine Factory Reloaded watering can? Looks like there might not be anymore. I'm not seeing one. Okay, and this one is, yeah, and a sight in a bowl. Okay, so we can make that too. Okay, so we wanted to make a bowl. There's a bowl. And with the bowl and some andesite, or... I guess not. I have a watering can. Alrighty, I believe we have to fill it up, add a water, at where there's water, and then use it. It's coming to be day, so we can go out and try using our watering can, see if we can get stuff to grow quickly enough with that. Okay, let's water some crops. Oh, they're growing! They're definitely growing.
Ooh, trees just sprouted up behind us. I wonder if it's because we're standing close enough with a watering can. Let's stand on this here. Hey! We harvested something. And there we go! We have seeds! And wheat! Yay! One more wheat and we'll actually be able to eat something. Oh, but the can is empty, so let's fill it up again. Okay, there we go! It harvested another wheat! We have food! I think I'm willing to say that Mine Factory Reloaded for 110.2 does work. Warning, warning, this video is almost over. Warning, warning, it's time to choose another one. This has gone on far too long, time to wake up and sing along. Warning, warning, this video is over now.